Hello, welcome to the UMMZ CT Data and Segmentation Tutorial Series. My name is Ramon Nagason and I'm a, I'm a zoology research specialist at the, at the University of Michigan's uh, Museum of Zoology, and I'm also the CT lab manager there as well. Welcome to our new web series. Uh, we will be creating a series of videos um, that will walk you through how to create CT data, uh, discuss what CT data is, and how you can work with it. So a little bit of background, um, we are talking about the University of Michigan Museum of Zoology. Um, so we're going to be focusing in on specimens that we have created data sets for and are creating data sets for using our zoological collections. If you would like to learn more about the zoological collection at the University of Michigan, you can go ahead and go to our website, which you can see the link for above. Now, we are going to be talking about um, our CT lab in particular um, through the course of these videos. So here you see on screen a Nikon uh, micro CT scanner. With this machine, which is located in our wet collections, we are able to take specimens out of the collection, um, scan them, and generate um, quite a bit of data about them. So here on the side, you can see examples of some of the things that we can get from uh, these types of data sets. We have two 3D models, one of a snake and one of a rodent. Um, and these were produced uh, by scanning specimens in our in-house uh, CT scanner. Now, through the course of the video series, we will be talking uh, specifically about what CT data is, how do we generate it, um, and how you can work with it. Uh, we'll be talking about data management, so what are our policies for archiving and uh, workflow for regarding uh, data produced from the CT scanner. We're going to be talking about segmentation, which is the process by which you can take um, two-dimensional images from the CT scanner and turn them into 3D models. And then we will also be talking a little bit about data analysis, uh, because you may want to use these 3D models for morphometrics, uh, biomechanics, what have you. Um, so we'll talk about those as well. Now, just as a brief overview, um, the way we produce CT scanning is sort of shown right now on screen with this diagram. You can see at the top left, we have a specimen um, shown to be rotating through a cone beam, which is produced from the x-ray gun in the CT scanner. Um, those x-rays are then picked up on a detector. From there, the detector creates a series of projections, not unlike radiographs you might get from your doctor's office. We then convert those um, projections into 2D cross-sectional images of the specimen, which can then be taken and compiled into a 3D model like you see at the bottom right of the screen. In terms of data management, we will be talking about two websites in particular, which we use as our, our, our archives. Um, the first is MorphoSource, uh, which we use um, as a part of our project called Overt. MorphoSource is funded partially through NSF and is hosted through Duke University. So we will talk about our process of batch uploading data sets to there and how you can go about accessing data and downloading it for your own personal use or research. The other website we will talk about is Deep Blue, which is the University of Michigan's in-house data repository hosted through our library. And we'll talk about how you can upload data and access data from that particular website as well. Next, we're going to be talking about, like I mentioned, CT segmentation. And in particular, we will be um, going through three programs, uh, the first being Volume Graphics, then Dragonfly, and then Abizo. Each of these three segmentation software packages allow you to take 2D cross-sectional data, compile them into 3D models, and then do a variety of uh, things with them. So you can create landmarks, you can do morphometrics, and a whole range of visualizations. And we will talk about essentially the basics and how to get started with working uh, within any one of these programs through the course of our videos. I do want to point out that right now, Dragonfly um, and the company that runs them called ORS are creating a series of their own tutorials, which are going through all of the steps um, and all of even the advanced functions of Dragonfly right now. And those can be found on their YouTube page if you simply search Dragonfly ORS tutorials. You will find um, a variety of lessons for that program. So the overall goals of this tutorial are for users to understand what CT data is, 
um, understand our data management policies and workflows um, at the UMMZ, and to have a basic understanding of how to work with CT data in a variety of segmentation programs and to start to do a little bit of research and some data analysis. So with that, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email at the email that you can see on screen right now. Um, and keep an eye on our YouTube page as we will be uploading more videos in the near future. Thank you very much.